Hello everybody, John Adolphe here. Welcome to our HUD home listed at 122 Baldwin Ave in Fulton. And what's really cool about it is if you were to live here, whoever does live here, you got a river's view. As soon as you step outside of your house, there's the river down there. Imagine walking around and holding hands. Okay, enough of that. Let's go take a look at the house. So what we got here is three bedroom, two and a half bath ranch and 1,700 square feet. And it's got like a two car garage. Ah, oh, are we going to go around the back? Is that what we're going to do? Boy, yep, thankfully I got my, uh, yeah, feet protectors because it is a little bit wet here. And I'll tell you something right now. You see this right here? That's got to change. You can't have water coming down like that if you've got a basement. Yeah. And we'll find out if the basement is prone to water or not. Okay, nice backyard. Look at this. It's got a shed. Awesome. It does have some gutters, but you got to make sure that they're working. Looks like the gutters go into drain tile, which is good. They bury them, basically. The, but just looking, just looking, see if there's anything I can see that needs to be said. Let's go all the way around on this one. Nice deck. Very nice. And you've got foliage too, you know, for privacy. And I'm sure when it's in full bloom. All right, let's head inside. All right, here we go. Well, very nice. Got the old sculpted carpet in there, but let's go ahead and take a look first at, oh, nice. Half a bath. Got it, okay. Well, this is nice. I like this. It's a step down in two, and then you've got a fireplace right here. All right. Looks like it's a real fireplace. Let's see what we got. Garage. Okay, and you got your circuit breakers over here, which is good. Always a good sign. Okay. All right. Very nice. Well, it'd be nice to see outside. <laughs> okay. Kitchen. Cabinets look really good. Oh, yeah. You know what? You stick like a solid surface or a granite countertop on there, rework some things. Uh, this would be really nice. And look at the woodwork, you know, up here. That's kind of nice. All right. You got another door out to uh, the deck. Nice dining room. I'd change out the light and repaint, get rid of the darker colors. I'll give you a reverse of this in just a second. Oh, another thing too. Sometimes some of these properties are very moist. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't be surprised if you see that because it's just it's just it's very humid in these sometimes and it's just the way it is you know because you saw from the uh, ice I just scratched off the door windows yeah all right nice size living room you know once you get heat in here and see what I'm saying you get heat in here and everything going and you know if you have to run a dehumidifier great sculpted carpeting's got to go the pink and the black got to go. Look at that, huh? Yep. <laughs> Great size bedroom though. Fantastic. Uh, let's see what we got here. Now even, and this is the smallest bedroom I, I believe and even this is nice. You know, nice size that is. Wow, I am impressed. We'll get to that bathroom in just a second. This is the master bedroom and it's really good size. Really nice. I like it. Okay, so you got walk-in closet, bathroom. Nice, nice. You know, I mean, obviously some people are going to want to, you know, remodel things the way they want it, but I mean, to start with, it's just, and then 
Blue. <laughs> yeah, blue. All right, so this needs a little help, a little remodeling. And again, see, I can see the moisture on the on the um, on the tub right there. You see that? Yeah, you know. And sometimes you get a little bit of sm spotty mold as a result of it. Surface mold. Difference between surface mold and mold that's underneath it or behind it that is really uh, the naughty, naughty mold. And I know there's a difference between white mold, gray mold, black mold, all that. But um, okay, let's go downstairs. And I'm not going to pretend to be a mold expert, but you see. You see how this right here, and they call this a mold-like substance. <laughs> you can have a professional do this. Um, you know, if you have come in and evaluate, obviously that's the most responsible thing to do. Um, again, see? And that's going to turn some people off. Me, I'll tell you what we've done in the past. And I can only tell you from my own experience. Anything that, you know, like down here, if I see stuff like that, I just get rid of the door. Get rid of the door and just start taking things out that are uh, porous. Start looking behind all the sheetrock and see what we got. But also, the most important thing is to find out why is it why is it manifesting itself. Now, I mean, I'm not seeing any water down here or anything, and maybe there was at one time, and the damage was done when it was down here. That's usually the case. And once that's eliminated, whatever that source was or is then you're you're good to go and that's what my suspicion is is that some pump or a uh, broken pipe and then you get water down here and yeah you got anything porous just you just get rid of you just gut and get rid of it again if you feel like this is not something you want to tackle then have a professional it's going to be expensive but you have a professional do it but yeah you just gut everything man everything that's that's porous that's what we did and then you can buy mold killers. That's a nice looking furnace. Hot water tank though looks like it's been a little rough for the a little rough there, and I have to replace that. Oh, and you got another hot water tank here? You got two of them? What's going on here? Installed in 2013. Sump pump. See, there you go. That bad boy isn't running. That could be a problem. Or again, it's probably a broken pipe that took place here, but you just get rid of everything. It's a big job, quite honestly. I've done it before. I don't want to minimize it. I'm just saying, though, that, okay. So, if you're up for the task, go for it. All right, since my paper work for this is out in the car, I'm going to end this video in just a second, but i got to go out to my car. Okay. Okay, so, uh, lot size, 110 by 268, as you can see right there. Sessed value, $131,600. Uh, it did sell uh, for $135,000 um, in 2013. All right, so, you know, HUD's got it on the market for, what is it, 108 Taxes are, ouch. Yeah, well, there's Fulton for you. So, I like the house. It's the mold that's going to disturb most people. And, you know, you can... Just go ahead and figure out whether or not you got your own system or if you're going to hire somebody professional and factor that in. Otherwise, you know, I would give the property a sorry thumbs up because it's just a really great property. Uh, I like it. It's it's uh, there's a lot there. Uh, the price isn't too bad, but when you factor in what's got to be done down in the cellar, then it starts to uh, tip the scale a little bit here, and the taxes. Ouch. So that's the good. That's the bad. Give us a call, 315-695-6434. And just remember, as always, real estate is awesome.